Now, Trump 2020 senior advisor, Mercedes Schlapp. Mercedes, great to see you today. We heard over an hour from the president. We had behind that comments by Joe Biden as well. And now they head to Pennsylvania. Um, the fever pitch is all about what will happen on Election Day. Tell me about what the president is planning to do. He says he's sending in the lawyers. Well, obviously, the president wants a fair and free election. Uh, we want to protect election integrity. We want to make sure that uh, there's one vote per voter that will count. And, uh, you know, obviously, our growing concern is that we're starting to see these Democrats panic in the sense that uh, we're cutting into their early voting. Uh, they, it seems like they don't have enough Democrats out there that are going to vote in person on Election Day because they've spent a lot, a lot of time creating fear in telling people don't vote in person. Uh, on the Republican side and on President Trump's side, our voters are going to go out on Election Day. Uh, there is a huge, strong ground game on our side. And so we're making sure that our voters get out to vote. And so I think at this point, what you're starting to see and what we have seen is that you see these Democrats are looking to cut ads. They're, they're prepping their surrogates with talking points, questioning election integrity, looking to loosen the rules uh, in these different states. And that's troublesome for, for, for us. And it's why we're going to make sure that we're legally prepared to take on these challenges. All right, real quickly, you started off with making sure that one vote gets counted as one vote. Uh, did it frustrate the process to have the president of the United States suggest on the stump recently that you could change your vote if you've already voted? Well, I think that's different uh, of changing your vote uh, as opposed to what you don't want to encounter is a situation of voter fraud where someone is voting multiple How would you times do that or... if you've already voted, though? Well, I think that there's state requirements for uh, different states. So if someone wanted to change a vote or not change a vote, that's different than going and trying to vote twice, uh, in essence, or trying to, for example, in the case of you have in many of these cases, which you see with mail-in voting, uh, where someone receives a ballot that doesn't even live in that address, or they've received two or three different live ballots that they receive at one address, that's where we see uh, more potential for complications and voter fraud when it comes to uh, in different states. We see that you see that in cases like in Nevada, where you've seen voters receive multiple ballots to one address, although that they might have moved from that address. And so that's where you see these complications happen. Uh, all right. I want to move on to something that the president did touch on on the stump today. Um, but wow, the U.S. reporting more than 99,000 new coronavirus cases on Friday, the highest single day number of new infections of any other nation recorded. The president last night suggested he may dismiss Dr. Anthony Fauci from the White House Coronavirus Task Force after the election. Let's watch. Don't tell anybody, but let me wait till a little bit after the election. So, Mercedes, some of the good news that the president has talked about is the vaccine and possibly by the end of the year and his plan to roll that out um, for at least getting it out there. Most people wouldn't get it until the second quarter of next year, according to the experts. Dr. Fauci, though, very respected figure. And, and I'm wondering, especially for some of those swing voters, so they say, who was the president trying to reach with the message that he will fire Fauci? Well, I think that uh, Fauci's comments this past weekend were disappointing. I mean, he played politics. Uh, and when you're a career employee and you're there to serve the American people, you want to stay out of the politics. You're there to provide medical advice as opposed to uh, take a political side. So I think for the president, as we know, Fauci is one of his many medical experts that are advising the president. And as we know, the president has listened to his medical experts in the past. It's why he took bold and aggressive actions, especially in the beginning when he put in travel restrictions to China. We know that Joe Biden responded to that by calling that xenophobic. 
And so it's President Trump's strong actions that have saved millions of lives. Joe Biden, on the other hand, he's plagiarizing our plan. He doesn't have a plan of his own. He just wants to make sure that we all wear a mask and, and put a national mask mandate, lock down this c country, which we know we cannot afford. We need to reopen our schools, reopen our economy safely and responsibly, and get Americans back to work. The long-term lockdown strategy of Joe Biden is ineffective, will not work, and be destructive to our nation. Yeah. You know, the president is still the president right now. And as we lead the world uh, in a place where we never thought we'd be in terms of cases, even Admiral Girard, handpicked by the president of the United States, says it's not because we're over-testing. Uh, complicated space for all of us as Americans to be in. Mercedes, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much.